Hi, I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Uh, today we will continue uh, with basic concepts of geometry. We will talk about angles. Well, basically angle is a geometrical figure which is formed by two rays. Or, if you wish, two segments. Doesn't really matter. Which have a common vertex. So this is called vertex, and these are sides, sometimes legs, uh, of the angle. Now, um, angles um, uh, can be a, a, of different kinds, basically. But what's very important is to understand how to measure them. Um, here is the process which basically helps to understand what is the measurement of the angle. So these are two rays, and uh, first we will consider that these two rays coincide, basically. So one and another are on top of each other. It's obviously to call this angle uh, measured as zero of something. Now, the unit of measurement is a degree, and uh, now we will start rotating one of these two rays counterclockwise. And this will be the positive direction of increasing the value of, of an angle. Now, whenever this ray reach, reaches the position which is the continuation of the first ray, so they actually make a straight line together because each ray is half line. So if these two, lane, uh, two rays um, form one straight line, we are saying that this is an angle of 180 degrees. And whenever we go further, another 180 degrees, obviously the full angle is 360 degrees. This is by definition. You don't have to basically you know, have any kind of an explanation. We just decided that the entire full angle is 360 degrees, and half of it is 180. So obviously, the quarter of this angle, which is a perpendicular, is 90 degrees. Now, there are other uh, measurements of the angles. Well, actually, one other measurement of the angle called radian. But we will talk about this a little later. We will uh, talk about circles. But right now, let's just agree uh, um, about the degrees as me measurements of the angle. So we have right angle, which is uh, 90 degree. It's called right angle. And then we have half a circle, which is 180, and the full circle, or full angle, which is 380. Now, the angle which is less than 90 degree uh, is called acute. So this is 90 degree. Less than 90 degree is called acute. Angles greater than 90 degree, but less than 180 degrees, are called obtuse. <coughs> so this is obtuse over. This is 90 degree. This is greater than 90 degree. Uh, if two angles together this one and this one make a 90 degrees angle, the right angle, it's called complementary. So angle A plus angle B equals 90 degrees. It's complementary. Complementary. Now, if two angles 
make 180 degrees this one and this one. One is, let's say, um, acute angle and another obtuse. Or, if you wish, which is the same thing, one is a right angle and another is a right angle. Both together, they still make 180. So these two angles are called supplementary. Supplementary. Okay. Now, what's very important is to understand that the measurement of the angle uh, goes counterclockwise. So if you have So if you have an angle like this, what's its measurement? Well, you start from this position and go counterclockwise. And this will be, let's say, I don't know, it's greater than 90, obviously. Let's say it's 120 degrees. Well, at the same time, you can measure from this ray, again, counterclockwise, and it will be 360 minus 120, this is 240 degrees. So these are two different angles. So how can we say which angle do we mean in this particular case? If one ray is OA and another is OB, we actually have to know from which to start. So if we start from OA and move counterclockwise, we have a 180, 140 degree angle. But if we start from OB and go to OA, it will be 240 counterclockwise again. So when we are talking about angles, we usually specify it using notation like this. This is the sign of an angle. Now, AOB means we start from the end A, or from the ray OA, and go to the OB, which is the receiving side, so to speak. So the primary is OA and the secondary is OB. We move from OA to OB. And this angle is this one. So as, as, as it is in this picture, uh, AOB is 120 degree and BOA is 240 degree. So we have to really understand what uh, exactly is happening in this particular case and which particular angle is more important or less important, and then you basically decide based on uh, what exactly you want from from your um, from your drawing and which angle you really need. Um, all right, so basically uh, that's about it for angles. Um, angles do actually correspond to one of the main. Uh, fundamental points which we have, uh, like points and lines. Angle is just the next in the level of complexity geometrical figure um, after lines and after points. Uh, we will probably use it, uh, well, we will definitely use it in, in more complex uh, geometrical figures like triangles, uh, po uh, polygons, uh, the squares or whatever else. Uh, so this is basically what exactly the angle is and how to measure this angle. That's it. Uh, all the combinations uh, of angles and lines which make up geometrical figures um, we will consider in uh, the next lectures. Thank you very much. That would be it for today.